What's up guys, you're watching another video from Cashflow, India's largest cashback site. And today, we're going to answer a question a lot of you have been asking us. Which is the best phone in India under Rs. 10,000? Let's find out. Our top 5 list includes the Xiaomi Redmi Y1, the Redmi 4, the Lenovo K8 Plus, the Nokia 3 and the Moto E4 Plus. If you want to buy any of these phones, just click on the link in the description and it will take you to a page where you can compare prices of all these phones across sites like Amazon, Flipkart, TataClick and if you buy any of these phones through the link in the description, you get extra cash back from Cash Group on top of all discounts. What's more is that if you are a new user, you get a sign up bonus of Rs. 50 for joining through this link. Now, Let's jump into this and find out why these phones are the best and what their highlights are. Let's start with number 5, the Moto E4 Plus that comes in at just 9,999 rupees. Now what's great about the Motorola E4 is that this phone comes with fast charging. It has a pretty good fingerprint sensor and the front camera is a 5 megapixel unit which comes with a front flash. Now, not many phones in this price range can brag about that. Additionally, it has a 5000 mAh battery that can give you around 700 hours of standby time and up to 60 hours of actual talk time, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. What I don't like about this phone is that at 198 grams, it's a little heavy and its image quality isn't all that great either. Plus, if you're a gamer, its 1.3 GHz MediaTek processor just won't cut it. Number 4 is the Nokia 3. It costs around 8,800 bucks, which is great if you're on a budget. And if you're willing to give Nokia one more chance to win your heart, this could be your next phone. What I like about the Nokia 3 is that it comes with a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor and a stock Android. Additionally, its screen is highly responsive to multi-touch, so it feels really good to use. And the 8 megapixel primary camera has a color wise lens, so you get very sharp picture quality. Despite decent specs, if you buy the Nokia 3, there are some things that you will miss out on. For example, the front camera, even though it's an 8 megapixel unit, doesn't give you the best pictures and the 2630 mAh battery won't last very long. Add to it the fact that it has no fingerprint scanner and it might be a deal breaker for a lot of us. Third on our list is the Lenovo K8 Plus, which is priced at just the 10K mark. Now, this is a good phone to buy if you're looking for a solid camera phone. Its 13 megapixel primary camera and 5 megapixel front camera do a pretty good job of taking pictures, especially for a phone that you can buy without selling your all. Now you can look at all its specs on your screen, and you see that it's got a 2.5 gigahertz octa-core processor that is great for heavy gamers who love Asphalt and Justice League, and the 4000 mAh battery can last pretty long. In fact, it lasts for 410 hours on standby and gives you up to 46 hours of talk time. It has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 so it can survive a fall of up to 2 feet. It has a decent low light image quality and comes with an HDR mode that gives you great contrast. What's not quite great however is that 165 grams, it feels a little bulky and some people have complained about overheating issues on prolonged usage. So now we're at the number 2 spot that is taken by the Redmi 4 priced at just 8,999 rupees. What's great about this phone is that it comes with best-in-class battery backup thanks to its 4,100 mAh battery. Also comes with a 2.5D curved display and Corning Gorilla Glass protection. Overall, this phone looks really sleek. Now this is a solid device but there is one sore point that you must consider. Its 16 GB of storage isn't really going to be enough if you run a lot of apps, do a lot of movies or save a lot of songs. Let's quickly run through the specs anyway to take a look at what this phone does offer. It comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera, so daylight shots are very impressive. The picture quality of depth shots however is fairly average. It has a 1.4 GHz octa-core processor so you can multitask quite a bit and play medium range graphic games without a break. We've already covered the battery which can last up to 450 hours on standby and gives up to 50 hours of talk time. And now it's time to talk about the best phone under 10,000, the Xiaomi Redmi Y1. Now at just 8,999 rupees, this phone 
gives you a fingerprint sensor that's as fast as an iPhone. It gives you a 16 megapixel front selfie camera with flash and it also gives you a powerful 1.4 GHz octa-core processor. Now if you look at your screen, you can see where it falls a little short is the battery which at 3080mAh doesn't really let you enjoy its performance to the fullest but it will take you through a full day without charge. Another thing about the Redmi Y1 is that the low light image quality of its rear camera leaves you wanting for a little bit more. Despite that, the Redmi Y1 is hands down the best phone in the segment, looks sleek, it checks all the right boxes and packs more punch than anything else in this price range. So that's it for our list of best mobile phones under Rs. 10,000 in India. Hit like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and click the link in the description if you want to buy any of these phones with extra cashback from Cashcaro.